Hi guys, welcome back to another video. You join me here in Aylesbury. It's Sunday, the 2nd of June 2024, and today is the High Wycombe bus riding day. So I'm going to be catching the 8 o'clock X9 service to Mill to High Wycombe with Arriva. Obviously, I'm trying to get a lot of Arriva buses in at the moment while I can, because obviously at the end of July, um, this depot will be closed, Aylesbury depot will be closing. So I'm going to be catching my an X9 to High Wycombe, uh, which would take me to High Wycombe. I'm going to be catching a couple of Heritage buses. Um, my, looks like my bus has just arrived now. It's 5467, one of the viruses today. But it could be the X7 though, to Oxford though. And the answer is it's not. It's going straight ahead, not sure why. Um, unless it's doing something else. Um, uh, well, uh, but yeah, as I said, we're gonna, I'm gonna catch the 8 o'clock X9 so the building to High Wycombe. I should get to High Wycombe for 9 o'clock, and my first house bus is at 9.15 um, on the 4 for 2. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna wait for my bus now. It hasn't yet arrived, and it's, it's 5 to 8 now, and the bus is due to go at 8 o'clock. However, it could be 54, 67. I don't know what it's doing, though. Like. But yeah. Ugh. But yeah, I will see you when the bus arrives. Here comes my bus, one of the Mercedes by the time it's 3023. And this is going to take me on the X9. Hi, listen. Thank you very much. Here we are. And I wake up. So my first bus. This goes to Jess. Good morning. from the 1940s um, so this bus is so old um, so um, just doing a run on the 442 just so I've seen it run um, and I've got an hour in High Wycombe and yeah before my next bus so I'll see you when I get off
get less comfortable with the way the bus is. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Cheers. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. for waiting. Thank you. Thank you. So we're now in Boca. Uh, there's my car. Somewhere. Uh, it's, uh, just there. LK06 FAU. I think P285. It's going to go out in about five. In about ten minutes, we arrived coming in early. We, even though we left late at High Wycombe because of blinds. However, as per the norm with this sort of thing, when I do these plans, the plan's gone to pop. Unfortunately, the speed runner I was going to do, I don't think it's running because the bus that was assigned to it is running really late. So I've decided that to save a lot of hassle, I'm going to go with South Park Bus Group. Now, I knew I was going to have a problem, but I figured that I'm going to get 3468 with the Scania with Joe and Oliver because obviously I'm wearing my as you can see I'm wearing my Red Rose uniform so it's possible so we're just about to go now in about I'm just get about 10 minutes from here in Booker Lima Lane at the Memorial Hall go back to High Wycombe and I have about 45 minutes before M168 comes back and it's going to go to Stockbridge and back to Beaconsfield. We're going to go to Beaconsfield and back instead. And back on the 305. And then I'll still continue to do the quick lane run at quarter past three. I'll get to get 55 minutes in High Wycombe. But yeah, I'll see you when I go back on the bus. Now on to so we're now on SB 449, this is on the 397, it's a quick lane, it's a small one, and this is my last heavy bus I'm going to get today, say lane and national. I'm going to take this on the 397 and then I'll go home from there. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll see you when we get to Cook Plant.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Right back to High Wycombe now. Uh, uh, I'm now got 15 minutes. Uh, wait for these next time. So that's the end of my day. Um, it's four o'clock now. I'm just going to get the 1607 home on the 130 home back to Aylesbury with BB73 MRY, one of the importers. So. Just probably the same as the old coaches bus, like a national or a route master or a RT or a GS or just probably the same. So I'm going home now, but uh, I've still got two more buses to get. First one, BP73 ML. Oh. Uh, with red line, I'm gonna take that on the 130, so it's back to Ellsbury. Should get into Ellsbury for about five ish, and then I should uh, make the trailer past five on the number 10. If I'm not, I'm screwed because that's the last one of the day. But yeah, I've been on. Let me count. Yeah. Been on quite a few vehicles actually. I've been on the GS. I've been on the Scania, I've been on the Dart, I've been on the Leyland National, one of them anyway. Um, but my day has did, and I'm now going home. I've got about five minutes before my one first bus home back to Ellsbury. And yeah, I want to do is when I get to uh, my house, I will show you what I got. I mean, I've got a full bag now, but as I said, I'm just gonna get my last bus home. My bus home. So I'll see you when I get on. Go on to my last bus home. Hi, yeah. Hello. No. Oh, no, I'm not together. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Uh, here we are, back in Aylesbury. Oh, what a day it has been. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pass to a voice over me. And yeah, I'll, I'll just summarise what I've done today. So to conclude this video, and the High Wycombe Bus Rally takes place every year around April to June. Um, it takes it is hosted every year by the Amsterdam District Motor Bus Society, who I have spun, who I've helped out by buying a program online a few days in advance to plan my day out and stuff. On screen now are. Uh, the photos that I took at the running day um, from the likes of all the vehicles that I've been on including the Dart and the Leyland National. If you want to ride these buses the rides are free but it is recommended that you buy a program to support Amazon District Motor Bus Society as it is of course it's not a cheap um, thing to do and um, they do have to uh, obviously pay for fuel and stuff um but yeah things i got included timetables and magazines old buses magazines as well as some old tooth maps old london country maps and a london transport one from the central area from the 1950s i really hope you enjoyed this episode as much as i enjoyed going to the high Wycombe rally i would really like to do more rallies this year but I don't know if that's going to be possible or not but until then thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode goodbye for now bye hi guys so um welcome back to another video so this is a quick up uh, a quick part from yesterday's video that 
uh, I recorded yesterday at the High Wycombe Bus Rally. So I'm doing this the day after the Railway Rally because it, when I got home it was late and I didn't have the time to do the recording. So um, this is what I got at the Amazon District Motor Bus Society random day yesterday at High Wycombe. Started with the maps and we've got, some, I've got all the maps here. Um, first one is this lovely 1961 London Central bus map. I do love bus maps if you don't know. It's maybe not as much as bus timetables, but hey ho. Um, from the London Central area. This was obviously when it was still LT running both the London Central area um, and London Country. A couple of years later, obviously in 1970, on the 1st of January, London Country was split and become part of LCBS, owned by the National Bus Company at the time. Then we've got a Green Line Travel 1 from 1977. It shows all the routes here. I won't show you the map, but it's a really good little map. This is from 1977. The best two I've got are these two. The first one is this old London Country map from, let me just check. 1960, so a good 10 years before London Country was split into LCBS from the 1960s. It shows all the routes. It does show it in the London Central Island as well, um, but this is a nice pocket-sized map from London Transport. And the best one is this, this old 1959 tube map. Um, obviously, you spot the difference time. So let's just open it up. Um, firstly, the Metropolitan Line is much bigger than what it used to be, what it is nowadays. Obviously, it used to go all the way beyond Amersham to Aylesbury, where I live, of course. That got rejoined in the 1960s, I think it was, when the electrification got as far as Amersham, but they wouldn't extend it beyond there to Aylesbury, so they cut the service. It also shows that the Piccadilly Line and the District Line shared the track between uh, Chiswick Park and Hamslow West. Now, of course, at the time, this was just after the shuttle service to South Acton was withdrawn off the district line, obviously known as the T-Run back in those days. Um, and the district um, uh, went to Hamslow. Uh, obviously, nowadays, that's only served by the Piccadilly line. Uh, and obviously, this was way before Heathrow Airport. So, um, yeah. And then, obviously, got the Northern Line there. Metropolitan Line with the East London Line, which was a bit of a history of itself. Metropolitan Line also went to Barking because this was pre-1990. This was pre-Hammersmith City. So, yeah. Um, and obviously the Eppington on Guard Railway, which is still there. Uh, obviously that closed in 1994. And the Bakerloo Line going to Stanmore rather than Jubilee, because obviously that didn't exist back then. All the way to Elephant Castle. Um, that is a really good map. I believe this is original Henry Beck, but I can't say for sure. Now for some old programs. So if you don't know, I always pick up old programs um, from Amazon District to Motor Bus Society. And I've got some here. So that, um, from all the running days, some running days, um, I've just picked them up. So first one from the 8th running day from 1996 in, Chesh in Amersham, 24th in 2012. The 9th into 1997, the 7th in 1995, and the most recent one is this one from 2023, the Amish, the Beaconsfield one, which I went to last year. Um, brilliant event it was. Um, didn't do a lot of videos that time. I did three separate videos on that, and it was a brilliant event. Well done to Lewis Nagel, who was at the event yesterday to do organising that. Now some old green old timetables. All of them are ex or green line ones, um, even NBC or Arriva. Um, the first two are from the 1950s. This one is from, well, actually 1980s. This one is 1981. Um, and then the other one was 1983, both for the Arriva, for the Aylesbury routes, which we don't have a green line route here in Aylesbury anymore, but it's always good to have on time to remembrance. Then we've got the Reva ones, so we've got the 712 from 2009 from St Albans, also March, winter 20, 2007 for the 797 from Hitchin, Stevenage, 
Hemden and London. And then we've got 757 from 2008, Summer 20 and 2007 as well. The 757, which I've still runs to this day, of course. Then I've got some old magazines. The first one is this old one here from 1983 when it was still uh, buses. I was just renamed. And it's saying Serving Milne Kings, a new town, of course, in Milne King, that is MK, which was built in the 80s. Um, and so, uh, and then we've got the old cult magazines like issue 650 here from May 2009, issue 655 from uh, October 2009. Issue 633 from December 2007, Issue 634 from January 2008, Issue 720 from March 2015, which I never actually got. Um, at the time I was picking them up manually, and Issue 600 from March 2005. So those are all the items that I got at the Amazon District Meds Bus Society running day yesterday in High Wycombe. Um, as I said in the video, I don't have any plans to go to any more this year. Um, I have got show bus coming up in September, which I am going to, um, but that is it. Um, I have got plans though, but watch this space because it involves me in a few days' time. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.